We're heading into a great semester loaded with lots of information that will help you as you begin to think about your own classroom. Hi, welcome to class. I'm glad you decided to take this course with me. This semester will be challenging for all of us, but I know we will meet things with a grin and a grain of salt. Many of you are concerned about being in the classroom. It's a little more time consuming than you thought it would be and so much to learn. Now you're beginning to wonder if teaching was a good choice of professions. That's okay. As many of as you, if you know, I switched professions many years ago back to teaching, and I'm glad I did. Our class will be one of the strongest supporters for what you are experiencing in the classroom. We're all in the same boat. I can't promise you smooth sailing, but you'll have company as you ride through the rapids. This class is a totally online class. Everything will be available through your computer articles, videos, assignments, and meeting people in your group. We've developed some informative, challenging, and beneficial assignments. We hope they will help you construct the framework for the teacher that you want to be. If you have not already done so, please read carefully through the syllabus, especially the required book for this class. The syllabus has all the information you will need. Your textbook is Becoming a Teacher in Texas by Janeth Nash. The textbook is required and was created specifically for Texas. There are two editions. One edition is for early childhood through sixth grade. The other is for middle and high school teachers. You need only one book according to which grade you're going to teach. If you're going to teach all level, such as art, music, or PE, choose the book for the level you would rather teach. Both books are essentially the same. They treat ideas such as motivation and classroom management differently for different levels. As we said, this is a totally online course and you're expected to understand the navigation of eCollege. If you have not participated previously with a web enhanced or online course, you will need to take the tutorial found when you log into eCollege through MyLeo. Instruction in this course follows the tenets of project-based learning to help guide you in learning key academic content, but will also help you practice collaboration, communication, and critical thinking while creating high quality, authentic products and presentations. Let's look at the left menu bar, Syllabus. A current copy of the syllabus is provided with this link. This is where you'll find instructions about your textbook. Technical support, here you'll find contact information for technical support. Library. This is a great link to get direct access to the library resources and find articles. Student Lounge. Here's where I want you to introduce yourself and attach a photo. There will be many opportunities to dialogue with your classmates during the modules and it helps to connect a picture with an introduction. I've already done that about me. Virtual Office. Submit questions about course contact. I check it frequently during the day, Monday through Friday. If I check the virtual office and find that someone else has answered a question adequately, I'll usually respond with, that's right. If your question is of a personal nature, contact me via email, a.striker at ymail.com or agnes.striker at tamuc.edu. Please include the course prefix and number for example, EDCI 515, in the subject line for all correspondence. This will prevent your email from going into a spam fo folder. Course Performance Project. You'll have two course performance projects. The first is a culminating project of modules 2 to 4. The second is a culminating project of modules 5 to 7. They'll be explained here. Course Introduction. View this PowerPoint first. Modules. That's the instructional venue for learning the course content. This course is set up in eight modules with the due dates for reading and assignments for each module. I do not enter the module to grade it until after the due date. Therefore, you may re enter to re edit any submitted work. You will complete assignments for each module. Each module will have a common feature, a reading or background knowledge assignment, a discussion thread, a performance project. Sometimes you may have a quiz or two short projects. 
The performance project in each module offers you an opportunity to work as an individual, with a partner, or in a group of three to four students. Working with a partner in a group requires you to follow a CCC rule, collaboration, cooperation, and completion. This means, as an adult, you will collaborate with another student or students in a cooperative manner to complete a high quality product. I truly believe two minds are better than one, so I encourage partnership or groups. However, I will not mediate should an issue arise pertaining to CCC. You're expected to find a resolution. You will always have a choice to opt out of the partnership or group and work as an individual. You will also be evaluated by the peers in your group. Let me explain two assignments that will take you all semester to do. The first is called iSearch. It's a form of action research. Teachers need to examine the effectiveness of their own skills. Many times, this is done by action research. Action research is a type of research that's intended to solve a specific classroom pro problem, improve a teaching method, or help you make a decision related to your classroom or school. Action research helps you grow as a person and as a professional. The project has four parts and it's explained in Module 3. It must be completed by the end of the semester. However, you may submit each section as you complete it. We're giving you the whole semester because you cannot complete this project in just a few weeks. The second long-term project is the Master Teacher a Media Project and it's explained in Module 7. It is a group project. Texas wants all her teachers to be master teachers and the movie you will watch will show a master teacher in action. Once you watch the movie, probably several times, your group will create a 20 to 30 minute digital report or comment about the movie and how that master teacher is truly a master in the eyes of Texas. The other members of the class will watch and evaluate your report. The performance project in each module offers you an opportunity to work as an individual or with a partner or in groups of three or four students as I explained before. However, I don't want just group work. In a group, typically one person becomes a leader responsible for the project. Others can get away with doing very little and get a grade. Collaborative teams are different. Each member has a job to do. Each job is of equal importance. And when each is put together, the assignment is complete. Collaboration. No member can succeed without the other. The members help, assist, encourage, and support each other's efforts to learn. They become supportive and have input in all segments of the assignment. However, everyone has, a leader, has leadership of their job. Some assignments have a group component and an individual component. Remember, when you're working with a partner in a group, you have to follow the CCC rule. One module that is strictly an individual assignment is Module 8. It's our course exam written in the format of the Texas Pedagogy and Professional Responsibilities Exam, or what we call the PPR. You know that assessment and standardized tests are here to stay. And to get your certification, you must take a standardized test. The course exam is good practice for the actual PPR. It is a 50 question, multiple choice exam in the Texas format. In modules two to seven, you'll be thinking, creating, and evaluating. In module eight, you're gonna use that information as you would on a certification examination. Now let's navigate the top menu bar in the front page. Announcements. All updates and announcements concerning this class will appear in the announcements in the top menu. Always check when you open this class. Gradebook. All grades will be posted here after the due date for the modules. You can find the due date at the end of the syllabus where there's a calendar. You will also be able to see a current course average here in the gradebook, as well as my comments. Email. You can email individuals, groups, or the entire class. You will also need to check your MyLeo email daily. Live. When there's a need for a live chat, 
you'll be notified well in advance of the scheduled chat. Doc sharing. I usually ask that you follow a sample format for the performance tasks you submit. Please preview this project prior to completing your assignment. Rubrics are also posted here. Dropbox. You will submit your performance tasks and the module projects in this area. Double check when you are submitting so as not to submit it in a different Dropbox than the assigned module. Journal. There may be occasions that you'll be asked to write a journal submission based on a topic. It'll always be listed in the module assignments. Bibliography. Some assignments will require you to research the internet for a certain topic and submit the web link with the description. There are so many good sites available and many not so good ones too. The webliography can be a valuable tool for all of us. By submitting a web link with a description, you'll help us to easily locate good sites. I also use this area to provide additional information such as new APA formats. Tech support and help. These two tabs will provide answers for questions related to working e-college. So are you ready? Well, let's get started. Again, let me welcome you to EDCI 515.